Greetings all, Rachel with the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit today about how to get registered for Hunter Education. We have a new system and uh, we just wanted to help you get registered or get your student registered for an upcoming class. Yeah, so my name is Dakota. I am here with Worth County and I am one of our Hunter's Ed instructors. And I just wanted to help my parents, uh, my students, as well as hopefully yours to just kind of go through this process and be able to make this a little bit smoother and showing you guys exactly some of the different routes that you guys can take to not only get signed up, but create your accounts as well. So when we start off here, you guys can see my screen here. So you're gonna to go to gooutdoorsiowa.com. So that is all spelled out. It's gonna pull up a page kind of like this. So if you look um, up here by the logo, underneath of that is a bunch of these different options. So right in the middle here in the middle, it says create or manage your account. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And it will take you to another screen here. And so here, if you already have a login, you can go ahead and log in or we can go ahead and create an account. So we're gonna click create account so we can kind of see what that is. Oops. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of start this account. So we have created a false account for you guys. I just wanted to put that out there. This is not my real information here. So we are gonna start with um, an account to log in here. So my birthday. Oops, we are not born in 88. There we go. And this person actually already has their account. So when you do go to create that account, it will follow you all the way through, um, entering in your name, your address, your phone number, um, emails, things like that. The big thing, especially if you are making an account for your student, uh, for your child, please make sure that you are creating their account under their information. So it needs to have their name, their social security number, their birthday, um, a phone number they can contact. Uh, we can get a hold of them if a contact ever needs to come about. And then this information can be changed later in life. So if they do, you know, eventually if they move out of your house, they can put in a current address and a current phone number for them as well. I know not every kid that's gonna get signed up for one is gonna have a phone. So everything can kind of be changed at a later date. So put in um, at this time, if you are a parent signing up your student, this can be your phone number, obviously whatever their current address is. Uh, please do not put, um, if you can avoid PO boxes, I think the system works a little bit better without a PO. Um, that way we have a physical mailing address versus a PO box. But if you only have that PO, that is perfectly fine putting in there as well. So after you get your account made, it is going to look something like this. So we've got our mailing address, um, a little bit of information about us, and you will get that. Um, if they don't have a driver's license number, most of these students will not, that's fine. This person has not gotten their hunter safety yet, which is what we are signing up for today. So we're gonna go and show you guys kind of how to sign up for this. So we're gonna go up here to the top where it says classes and events. We're gonna go down to search events and it's gonna pull up a page real similar to this. So it's got our name over here. It's gonna be our events calendar for things that we're signed up for um, as they get older, if they do decide they wanna volunteer or become a hunter's ed instructor themselves or, or a boating instructor, things like that. Um, their events will all be here as well. So over here, we've got a map of the area and then we've got all of our names off to the side. So today we are gonna sign up for our class here. If you know a class code, you are welcome to go ahead and type in that class code, which apparently is not coming up. Let me change my dates here. Sure, there it is. So here's our class course we're gonna go ahead and sign up for. So in here, um, it's gonna show the name of the class. You're gonna have what dates and times your classes are. Make sure you are signing up for the correct class down here in the location. 
So for here, we're gonna sign up at our Central Springs Community School. Um, you will have contacts information as well and a little bit of details about the class to help you get signed up as well. So from here up at the top, there's this big green bar that says register to participate. So if you go ahead and click on that, it is super simple, especially if you're already logged in, it will take you to some programs are gonna have a pre-survey. Some of them um, choose not to do a survey, but I think most people do have that survey just so that we can get to know you a little bit better. So in here, we're just gonna go around and click some random things. So, you know, which contributed to being interested in this. We're just gonna say, we wanna learn a new life still and we're gonna harvest sustainable foods. So if you've never hunted before and then we're just gonna go through some questions. So we're gonna do here um, and we're just gonna click on some random things to get through this screen here so I can show you what it looks like. None. And then it wants to know about where you learned about this. So for uh, a lot of the schools, it will probably be word of mouth because we are coming into your school um, or if it's put on through a county, it'll be through there. But however you guys do hear about this, please fill this out, especially this one. Make sure you get as accurate as you can. Um, this is really great for our information so that way we can kind of track how people um, are best hearing about these events. So we are going to submit that in which case you are now a participant that is registered in this event. And you'll have this green bar will now turn red saying, hey, you are registered for this event, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and unregister here so you guys can see one other way that we can do here. So if I go ahead and log off, and let's go back to the start of this page here. That is not what I wanted to do. Hold on, my computer's loading. There we go. So I can also just look at events without being logged in. So some of you may just immediately get sent to this case. If you do not have a class code as well, we can go down to our start date. So if you know what date it opened or have a rough idea of what date it opened, you can go through and click that start date. The end date isn't super important. Um, just make sure it's way out in the future. That way you aren't cutting out your options of your classes. So we know that we're going right here to our Hunter's Ed classroom course in Central Springs. Here's our address to make sure we're going to the right one. We can go, go ahead and click on that, make sure to open it up. And you're gonna to come to that same screen that says log in to register now. So this is also another place that you can log in. So if you do not have that login information, this right here will continue um, to go ahead and let you uh, create that account as well. So if you put in your, your child's or your information and it um, you do not already have an account, it will take you to that create account screen. So we can go ahead and log back in here. And it'll take us back to that survey once again. And just fill this out to the best of your abilities. You know, make sure to be honest. We do actually look at these um, as an instructor. I like to kind of look at these to gauge, you know, what, um, what my kids have been, what their kind of experience is. So it just kind of gives me a little bit of background. Um, it also tells me what the kids are kind of looking forward to learning so I can kind of gear a little bit and make sure I'm answering some of those, you know, specific things that people wanted to learn as well. So once again, it brings you back to that screen that shows that you are registered for this event. And it does once again, have all of that information, your event ID. Um, right now there is eight people signed up for the class. We've got two volunteers. So two instructors right now that are going to take this class. So this is just a general, um, this is gonna be a classroom course, but there are other events in here as well that I just wanted to show you guys here. So from here, these are gonna be all of our different ones. So if a uh, event has a full availability, you're gonna see max participants reached right down here in the second section. It's gonna say the registration is open, so you can register for it, but the max amount of people have been uh, signed up for that class. If there's an open availability, it'll be like this top section right here where it says one of 32 seats available. 
So that's going to tell you how big your class size is, but also how many seats are left. Um, in case you are one of those people who are signing up multiple people at the same time, you all want to get into that same class. So we'll just kind of walk through there. Uh, right now, this time of year, a lot of them are going to be either a field day or a classroom course. Uh, those are going to be the big ones. So our classroom course, as I'm sure most of you know, if you're at this point in, you know, locking in and registering for a class. So the classroom is going to be, you're going to come in, you're going to sit down and you're going to cover the, uh, all of that information in class with an instructor versus a field day is you taking an on the online portion. So after you've conducted and finished that online portion, you're going to go ahead and come back to that field day, which will do all of your hands on and then physically take your test to be able to pass um, and get your hunter's safety certificate. All righty. So we just wanted to kind of clarify some things up. Um, I know my students always have a million questions about this, and I'm sure um, you had some questions too. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to your instructor um, and they will help you reach through any of those issues or concerns that you're having with getting either you or a student signed up. So if you have any questions, find your instructor. All of your instructor information will be there on that course. So I hope you guys have a good day. Learned as much as you can. If you have any questions, you can always uh, reach out to that instructor or your local conservation officers and they will be able to help you as well.